Welcome back to another video by Mr. Projects. In this video, we're gonna put some of this stone guard underneath the car. We're gonna pull it out, take the wheels off and stone guard underneath. Because as you can see, it's uh, deteriorating and falling off. We're also gonna get the exhaust that is not finished and getting rusty. So we're gonna get this with the V-band and we're gonna probably fit the rest of the exhaust up. Let's get into it. probably wondering why I didn't take some of the tires off they're literally stuck on there and um, everything underneath the car is getting swapped out anyway a new suspension new brakes I don't really need to take them off right this second so that is why I left a few of the tires on um, still managed to get around them pain in the ass but still got it on there looks good time to uh, do the exhaust Today's Sunday. I just thought I'd bring the dog out for a quick run out in the bush before I get back home and start working back on the VL again. Just thought I'd have a bit of a bit of a play out here and take the old fella for a bit of a run before we get back home and get into it. Really good day. This coronavirus isolation has just it's just nuts. Absolutely nuts, but Oh well, I thought I'd bring him out here, have a quick run. It's only very early in the morning, it's like eight o'clock and then um, go back and get the welder and weld up this exhaust. And it should be a pretty crazy old day.
Got the exhaust all finished up, made the dump pipe down here into a V-band and then connects back into the cap and the rest of the system is on the car. Looks pretty good if you ask me. Lots of clearance. We'll go up the top and we'll have a look from uh, the um, dump pipe. Plenty of clearance down each side. Straight down. Looking awesome. Been working on this car for a few hours now. It's getting pretty late outside. Today's uh, Sunday, so I'm just glad I've got it all on. And that is one more thing that I have done, which is great. Still haven't put the uh, O2 sensor in. Um, that's gonna be done at a later date also. This will all get pulled off and painted, but for now I don't have the paint. I'm gonna have to wait until tomorrow and go down to the shops get myself some heat proof paint but for now it's all on there it's all looking pretty good I'm pretty happy with how it turned out the exhaust is now done and the reason why I've made that exhaust this was the original dump pipe that there three to two and a half that's a massive restriction and also it had this four bolt flange and it just looks it just looks rubbish so that's why I got my own inch pipe and just decide to make my own just to just to eliminate that that is just that's not going to work for what I want very happy with the end result what I was saying before was that flange there someone had used a screwdriver this one up here and had absolutely destroyed it so we tucked all that back straight and um, came out very well time now to go over there to the jack and put it back on the ground get rid of the jack stands and push it back in and bring my car back in now it's back on the ground it actually looks like it's uh, well away from the ground which is good exactly where I want it We've got a lot done today, as you can tell in the video. We've got all the exhaust on, we got the underbody painted yesterday. I'm not gonna go any further today. I'm not gonna go and try and paint the exhaust because it's getting really late. I am covered from head to toe in crap. I think pretty much what I've done today, that, that's probably gonna be the end of this video. Thanks for watching everyone. And on the next one, hopefully I'll get some intercooler pipe and then we'll connect that up and we can make some choo-choo sounds. That'd be awesome. Catch us on the next one.